What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are fresh back from Mod Nationals. You guys may have saw a few of our posts on social media and stuff while we were down there. Wanted to take a quick minute just to go over a little bit of a recap of the event. So, let's get into that. Okay, so for Mod Nationals, you know, they had that at South Georgia Motorsports Park, as they have for the last three years. We left on Wednesday, it's kind of a blur, it's been a long couple of days. We left on Wednesday night, drove straight through, basically made it to the track about the time the gates opened on Thursday. So we, Jim and Terry both had paid for testing on Thursday, so didn't really have an option for napping or anything like that, so straight into the gates. Unloaded the cars, got teched in. Basically, about an hour of downtime just to socialize, talk to people, and straight into testing. So, went up with Terry's. Basically, just a simple little quick pass, you know, just trying a few small things. It's the first pass on the all the new changes on the front end, which you would have saw in this video leading up to the event. So, it was just a... I forget the exact number. I want to say he ran a, it was a low nine, somewhere in there. So then Jim, in the new unnamed black car, we still haven't come up with a name, a lot of different things floating around, but I don't know. We'll figure out something eventually. <laughs> so this was his first pass in this car. You know, all we've done with it is kind of just went over it. We changed tires, put it on the tire we'll be running for next year in NMRA. We put on the dyno, made a few pulls, made some adjustments to the tune, you know, to more my liking, not that it was done wrong prior, but just where I like some stuff to be. Then for a low boost setup, I think we had it dialed in around 15 pounds, maybe a little less. I think it was around 15 pounds. And he went a 828 at 170 on his very first pass with the car. You know, it went straight down, uneventful. Couldn't ask for much more on that. So I'll put those two videos here. to the rest of the day for testing you know so for gyms the next time up we decided to put more boost in it upped it to right around i want to say it's about 20 pounds and this tune that's in this thing is just like super super conservative as far as timing and air fuel just basically just want to shake the car down he wants to get some laps on it there are a lot of changes coming for this car over the winter which we'll go over in a future video on all that kind of stuff explain to you what all we're doing why we're doing it that type of stuff it went down and let me let me look at my time slips here remember which one was first the next pass was a 792 at 175 miles an hour so step in the right direction i think i got a sneeze coming on but i don't want to sneeze on camera <laughs> we'll see 792 at 174 miles an hour then it was a 508 at 139 and an eighth. So very, it's as fast as he's ever been by, by a pretty far stretch. I believe his fastest before this was an 870 in the streetcar. So yeah, that, that'll wake you up. Then the next pass or two with Terry's car, we had some tire spinning, trying some, just trying some different things. So just, that's why you go for testing. Luckily, we went for testing because we'll get the, we'll get into the reason why it was good. We went testing in a minute. So then the last passes of the night for both cars, Terry came up and finally crushed on through. I mean, we broke into the A second barrier, but this time you know just crushed right in through it. Ran his personal best with the car in eight fifty at one hundred and sixty four mile an hour. Just kind of caught everybody. Well, it caught me off guard. I, 
I was expecting this weekend to be probably like, if we saw some low 70s, maybe a high 60, I thought we'd be doing pretty well. But 850 at 164, at 3,920 pounds per the scales at South Georgia Motorsports Park. So, okay. Can't be mad at that one bit. The car finally finally came together on a nice national national arena. And, hey, I'll put that video right here for some of you guys that didn't see it on Facebook and stuff. Then Jim's basically ran down again. Same deal, 790. Mile an hour is down a little bit because we, I played around with a few things and kind of missed, I guess. <laughs> but and all in all, a great, great first day to my nationals down there. So this is where the story turns into it's a good thing we went, paid the extra for the testing. Friday, get to the track, it's sprinkling, you know, which we. We all expected a little bit because the weather had forecasted some rain on Friday. That you know, not a big surprise. Early showers, so then it finally they had to, they wound up having to call it for the day on that. So it just rain. It just a misty, cold rain all day long. Nothing you can do with that. Then Saturday is some early morning showers. They were finally able to get the track dry. Got some stuff going. Got through some of the qualifying, then the rain snuck back in again. It was a very trying day for rain in South Georgia. <laughs> I'll say that. But everybody at the facility, Wade Rich, all those guys, I mean, they done a phenomenal job. They got the track turned around quick, you know, and it's not the – it wasn't the best surface that I'm sure South Georgia Motor SGMP would like to put out there. But for what they had to work with, I think those guys done a phenomenal job. And I, hey, can't say a bad thing about anybody on that crew. So then, on to Sunday. We wound up doing two rounds of qualifying, then straight into eliminations, basically. So for Heavy Street, Terry on his first pass went a, it was a 870, I want to say. You know. Basically, pretty close to the 850 from the other day. Just we left a little, that changed up the launch a little bit, and car didn't like it. So we're figuring out what works. You know, but what you do with cars, you got to figure out what they like. No two cars are alike, even if they're the same combination. Things are going to be different per car, per driver. So then we basically brought it back, left it parked, got ready for elimination with it. Jim's car, we started just. You know, running basic. What did we wind up qualifying? We wind up qualifying with like an eight four, I think. Just some misses on my part, I think. But we worked on all those, got it ready for eliminations. So for King of the Four Valve, they broke it into two different classes. You had the Pro, and you had the Street. So they took the top twelve qualifiers. And they went into the pro division, which was a pro ladder, all that. Then the bottom half, they put into the street class, which is on a sportsman ladder. We luckily wound up getting in as the number one qualifier, essentially, for the street class. So that rewarded us a buy run in the first round. Actually, I think, I think both cars wound up. Yeah, Terry's got left. Then Jim had a competition by, Terry had a broke by. So both cars had a buy in the first round. Can't complain about that one bit. <laughs> Take them how you can get them. That's why, that's why you run the race on Sunday. So everybody made it through round one, obviously. Fine. Then got into round two. Made some changes as King of the Four Valve was getting faster. So I... Made some changes and some stuff. 
a thing or two got overlooked, you know, which, like I said, this is a new car, new car to him, new car to me. There was a few mistakes made, and we wound up rolling the beam. Basically, so we rolled through. Didn't even give ourselves a fighting chance at the race, so. That's a mistake. It They happen. It sucks, but at the end of the day, it's a learning experience. We'll learn from it and won't make that mistake again. Well, we're actually going to fix the car so the mistake can't be made again. <laughs> I'll say that. Then Terry came up against a pretty formidable opponent in his class, Randy Thomas, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know. Anybody that's followed NMRA, he does a ton of True Street. I mean, I think, dang, I think the guy was racing like three, four classes down there. <laughs> there was a class he could race in. I think he was in it. So, raced him. Just one of those deals. Just kind of got, got outran. You know, part <laughs> The event itself, you know, we all had a blast, minus Mother Nature. We explored some of Valdosta, stuff like that, found a few local restaurants. Had a great time. You know, Justin Young has done this now for four, well, this is the fourth year. Each year has got better, bigger, and, you know, thank you. Thank you, Justin, for all the effort you put in throughout the year, all the, I'm sure, headaches upon headaches you get dealing with the racers, everybody getting everything arranged. You've done a great job. You deserve a round of applause for that. So, what else? What else? Then we, then we made our good old, we left South Georgia at 10, 10, 11 at night. Drove all the way back. I wound up taking Monday off because we didn't get back till about 2 o'clock here. PM, we stopped a few cat naps here and there along the way but that's my review of my national 2019 so hopefully you enjoyed that enjoyed some of the footage here of the cars as always you know like share subscribe all that helps me helps you then i will see you guys on the next one